of God to help us through our day. Finally, it's Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. But we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having fastened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shed your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Besides all these, taking the shield of faith, with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit with all prayer <coughs> and supplication. Amen. 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 <coughs> okay. So, it's the glorious mysteries today because it's Wednesday. So, <coughs> well, you okay? It went down the wrong pipe? <coughs> no, it's not COVID. <laughs> you asked me to wait, and I went and got almonds. So I've been eating oh. Sorry. It went the wrong way. Water? <laughs> yeah, get me a little water. I have tea, but I don't have tea left. <laughs> COVID, COVID, she's so funny, your daughter. She kills me. <laughs> she's hilarious. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So, are you ready? Okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but Deliver us from evil. Amen. For the Pope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For all the priests and the cardinals and the bishops to do the will of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For all the deacons and the sisters, and and the lay, I'm sorry, and the laity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection, faith. Pollution, environmental, sexual, and political corruption, Matthew 28, 1 through 6. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but 
deliver us from evil. Amen. The body of Jesus is placed in the tomb on the evening of Good Friday for children whose lives are corrupted by lust and greed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. His soul descends into the realm of the dead to announce to the just the tiding of their redemption. For those who work to protect the innocent. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Fearing the body of Jesus will be taken, the chief priest placed guards at the tomb. For the poorest of the poor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On the third day, Jesus rises from the dead, glorious and immortal. For those who strive for economic justice for the poor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The earth quakes as the angels roll back the stone. The guards flee in terror. For those whose lives are ruined by pollution of sin and despair. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy women coming to anoint the body of Jesus are amazed and frightened to find the tomb open. For those who work with the poor in the developing world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. An angel calms their fear. He is not here. He has risen as he said. For victims of environmental disaster and those who help them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene and Peter and two disciples on the way to Emmaus. <clears throat> for those who work for environmental cleanup and protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That evening he appears to the apostles behind locked doors. Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. For those who work to establish humane treatment of animals. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus breathes on them and gives them the power to forgive sin. For those who work for, to clean up political and economic corruption. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, you created the world in great love and restored your creation with an even greater love. Look with mercy on your broken and wounded creation. Restore the innocence, truth, and beauty of your lost children. Help those who strive to restore your soiled world and strengthen those who strive for economic justice and peace for the poor. 
All this we ask in the name of the resurrected Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension, Christian hope. Souls in Purgatory, Luke 24, 50 through 51. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus remains on earth forty days after his resurrection to prove he has truly risen from the dead. For those who are near death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He commissions the apostles to preach the gospel to everyone, and promises to be with them forever. For those who are dying, separated from God's love, that we might not die unprepared. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He will not leave them orphans, but will send the Holy Spirit to enlighten and strengthen them. For priests who minister the sacraments to the dying. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus proceeds to Mount Olivet, accompanied by his mother and the apostles and disciples. For doctors and nurses who minister in hospices for the dying. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Extending his pierced hands over all in a last blessing, he ascends into heaven. For priests who minister to COVID-19 patients who are dying, and the 50 martyr Italian priests who die COVID. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> As he ascends, a cloud takes him from their sight. For those who are bereaved. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus ascends to take his place at the right hand of the Father. For the eternal rest of souls of our loved ones. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. What jubilation there must be amid the angels of heaven at the triumphant entry of Jesus. For the souls of our ancestors. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The wounds in his glorified body are an endless plea before the Father on our behalf. For the eternal rest of souls of priests and religious. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> the disciples leave Mount Olivet and return to Jerusalem with great joy. For the eternal rest of souls who have been forgotten. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, rose, died, rose from the dead, and ascended into glory, so that the way to heaven might be open to all who believe. Strengthen and encourage all those who have died in Christ's love. Send your holy angels to assist them as they continue their journey to purification and final glory. Help us always to be aware of your great love and to use our right to time that is left to us here on earth. Amen. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descents of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Gifts of the Holy Spirit. Ideologies of Deception and Theft, Acts 2, 2 through 4. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The apostles are gathered in the upper room where Jesus had held the Last Supper to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They are persevering in prayer with Mary, the Mother of Jesus. For our families to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. A sound comes from heaven like a rush of a mighty wind, and it fills the whole house. For our parishes and priests to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Holy Spirit descends on each of them in the form of tongues of fire. For our diocese and bishops to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Filled with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, they are enlightened and strengthened to spread the gospel. For the spirit of generosity and charity to prevail. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Having lost all fear of the Jewish leaders, the apostles boldly preached Christ crucified. For those who are dominated by envy and tempted to steal. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The multitudes are confounded because every man hears him speak in his own tongue. To be delivered from the spirit of greed and lust for power. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Holy Spirit comes upon the infant church, never to leave it. For those ensnared by the dreams of political and economic utopias. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That first day, Peter goes forth to preach and baptizes 3,000. For politicians to work for the common good. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Feast of Pentecost is the birthday of the Church, for on that day it begins to grow. For diplomats to seek peace, justice, and the common good. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, you sent the Holy Spirit among us for the perfection of your people and the establishment of your church on earth. Deliver us from worldly dreams and ambitions and help us to seek the true brotherhood of the body of Christ. Give us the spirit of freedom, love, and charity for all so that by your Holy Spirit we may serve the common good and build up your community of love in the world. Amen. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption, to Jesus through Mary. Materialism, Ephesians 2, 4 through 7. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. After the apostles have dispersed, the Blessed Mother goes to live with John, the beloved disciple. For all who are, for all who strive to be completely fulfilled in Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary lives many years on earth after the death of Christ. For those who are locked in the sin of envy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She is a source of comfort, consolation, and strength to the apostles. For those whose lives have no spiritual direct dimension. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As she had nourished the infant Jesus, <clears throat> so she nourishes spiritually the infant church. For those whose lives are consumed with worldly ambition. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary dies, not a bodily infirmity but is wholly overcome in the rapture of divine love. For those who care for nothing but efficiency and money. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Her body as well as her soul is taken up into heaven. For those who are obsessed by vanity and their reputation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. After her burial, the apostles go to the tomb and find only fragrant lilies. For those who are addicted to material possessions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Jesus does not permit the sinless body of his mother to decay in the grave. For atheists and those who deny the supernatural realm. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Corruption of the body is an effect of original sin, from which Mary is totally exempt. For guidance and protection from guardian angels. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The bodies of all mankind at the last judgment will be brought back and united again to the soul. For deliverance from lies and distortions of the truth by Satan. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, in the Blessed Virgin Mary, reveal to humanity our true goal, our destiny, and our home. Deliver us from all vanity and pride in our ambitions. Teach us to follow in the path of Mary, who was assumed into heaven because she was the most humble person on earth. Finally, bring us and your whole human family to that final supernatural glory which you have prepared for us, world without end. Amen. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation, grace of final perseverance. Corruption and condemnation of humanity, Revelations 12, 1 through 2. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As Mary enters heaven, the entire court of heaven greets with joy this masterpiece of God's creation. For all who wage spiritual warfare against the powers of darkness. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary is crowned by her divine Son as Queen of heaven and earth. For all who are cooperating with God's grace on their path to heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. More than we can ever know, the heart of Jesus and Mary overflow with joy at this reunion. For the intercession of our patron saints. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Only in heaven will we know the great majesty of that coronation and the joy it gave the angels and saints. For the intercession of holy angels. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Even the angels who by nature are greater than humans hail Mary as their queen. For those who preach to souls in rebellion against God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary shares so fully in the glory of Christ because she shared so fully in his suffering. 
for those who rebel in pride against beauty, truth, and goodness of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Only in heaven will we see how central is the role of Mary in the divine plan of redemption. For atheists and agnostics who do not believe in hell. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The angels and saints long for the coming of her whose heel crushed the head of the serpent. For those who delight in their sin and rebel against the kingdom of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary pleads our cause as a most powerful queen and a most merciful and loving mother. For those who choose hell over heaven in this life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. For those who worship Satan and his angels. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Loving Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, has gone before us to prepare a place for us in heaven. Open our hearts to the wonders of his love, and help us always to seek out that which is beautiful, good, and true. Draw all your children to your love, and deliver them from the bondage of Satan, and from those angels that would drag them down to hell forever. Save them from their slavery to sin, and bring them at last to your heavenly home with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the angels and saints. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. And now let's do our Holy Spirit for our discussion. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In that same spirit, help us to know what is truly right, 
and always to rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I could tell you were in a hurry today, so I was like, she's in a hurry, so I better keep up. <laughs> hurry. Uh, oh, I thought you were you picked up the pace a little bit, which is a good thing it's sometimes. I it's because of my I had I never gonna eat almonds again before I come on because I was eating almonds and, and it was up. wrong side a little piece of the almond and the whole rosary I was like struggling trying to get my my oh okay and now it's fine that I'm done. <laughs> wow, a fork isn't that the way it always works? Yeah, that's the devil. <laughs> um, okay. I, um, uh, today, um, I got a few things. First, I'm, I'm happy because my prayer was answered that we talked about yesterday. So I'm still basking in that. And I heard some more things about it this morning. That's why I was running a little late. So, um, that, that, uh, was part of it. Um, but in any case, as we went through, you know, Wednesdays, the Glorious Mysteries is always my favorite because um, we do the souls in purgatory, and um, I pray for my family members, which we do every day now with the Divine Mercy, and I'm really happy about that. Um, so uh, the other things um, that hit me were um, on, let me see, on... The, um, on the first, or on the second, I guess the second, nope, got that already, sorry, um, the third mystery, um, on, uh, the Holy Spirit, I was praying that the Holy Spirit was in the, um, hearing for, um, Judge Amy, uh, uh, was it Amy Coney Barrett? So I was praying for that, and so that came to me today when we um, when we were praying about that. And of course, we're praying for us all to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We're praying for um, the uh, spirit of generosity and charity to prevail. Um, for um, those who are dominated by envy and tempted to steal. Um, and those to be delivered from the spirit of greed and lust for power. And so I, um, it occurred to me as we were doing that, that, um, you know, the other side is upset that we are um, putting a judge through, which is the president's right to do, um, because it's still, and they're saying, let the people weigh in. Well, the people already weighed in in 2016. Um, and we voted him in, and he's in until January um, at, uh, from that vote. So he is legally entitled to do that. And so I feel that their um, envy and their attempt to steal that um, is, you know, wrong, and I believe that the Holy Spirit will, you know, usher that through. Um, and then we talked about um, in our intentions, ensnared by the dreams of political and economic utopias. Well, we we know that um, for um, for that socialism has never worked in the history of the world, never, um, and it has ended with millions of people brutally murdered by their government. Um, the most modern example of that is in Venezuela. There's now no toilet paper. No, um, The children are always evacuated because of uh, tear gas um, and uh, at the hospital. Um, if you speak out against the government, you can be shot and killed. 74% um, of Venezuelans have lost an average of 20 pounds in the last year, year, two years. Um, because of food shortages, families are standing in line for hours for a loaf of bread. And Venezuela was once the most, one of the most prosperous nations in South America until they went socialist. So why would we bring that here to the U.S.? Um, and so those things came to me today um, when we talked about, um, about all of that. Um, and I just pray that, you know, that never happens to this country. 
Um, and then when we got to the fourth um, uh, mystery, um, let's see, um, the fourth mystery. Oh my God, what, there was something. Oh, it was about materialism. And I thought that was interesting because, um, you know, people that, are very materialistic happen to be some of the most envious people and um, and those with um, the spiritual dimension is kind of faded in their life and they have that um, that pride that comes with materialism and something that you've been talking about lately is um, humility and if we uh, this morning I put up a post that um, the, the one of the main reasons why we won't admit we're wrong is because of our pride. And what is the remedy to that is humility. So we're all guilty of that at times, you know. Um, and then I saw an article that said um, uh, of the seven deadly sins, the, um, the only one with a virtuous side to it is pride. Because you can have pride in your maybe your home, your your um, your family, your work ethic, your um, you know your uh, your country, those kind of things, and um, and it's and it's I, I believe in that that it's a balance um, that if you're too far prideful about it, then it's an unhealthy pride. But if it's a healthy pride, that would be normal. Um, but, but that doesn't mean at the, at the expense of someone else. And that's the difference in materialism. Um, it is, is when the elite takes over, they are wanting that power, and they make sure that the people at the top have the power and that the people at the bottom have no say. Um, and that is, that is the fear of socialism. And um, materialism seems to perceive that. And so that worries me about our country, and I worry about that coming into fruition at some point um, and hoping, and I, and this is just a personal feeling, you know, thought, that we are just delaying it, that like Rome fell once, you know, will we fall like that? And I just wonder if we're delaying it. And as our um, culture is um, the indoctrination that's taking place with the youth, there is a little bit of a of, of conservatism coming back and God coming back into our country because they were throwing God out. You know, it, it seems like it's happened the most that I'm aware of since the 60s. Now, I was born in 62, so, you know. Um, but the thing is, is that, it seems that that's when, you know, the, the sexual revolution came in and all that kind of stuff. So um, it seems like we've been slipping. That's, you know, you know, 50 years now, uh, 60 years now, and, and we seem to be swinging back. And there's always that pendulum effect that goes back and forth, and then we overcorrect and go back. Um, and so I, I wonder if we're going to get to that point, and, um, and I think that we need to pray about it, and we need to pray about people, um, you know, understanding God, and we have to, the church has got to start um, teaching, and I think that some of the teaching needs to be in sin, because we, our society has divorced us from the, the idea of sin. We're like, everything is fine. No, everything's not fine. You will be forgiven for your sins, but you have to ask, and you have to be remorseful, and you have to mean it. It's not just, oh, I can get to the end and say, oh, God, forgive me, and everything will be fine. It doesn't work like that. And so I, I, um, that all kind of came to me today, and with, um, and with, the, um, with, with the Amy Coney Barrett um, I, you know, I believe that her, a lot of the, 
that she did, she's done very, very well. She's so impressive. I never knew how impressive she was. Um, but when they when they talk to her about, you know, the whole thing, I believe, is about abortion because they get their money from the abortion industry. They pay off the politicians so that they will vote in their favor. They basically sell their votes to enrich themselves and to keep power to continue to enrich themselves. Um, because obviously they're not doing that well, if you look at the entire state of California is going bankrupt, they mismanage funds, they have trains to nowhere, they they say the potholes, the water, they have brownouts, they can't, they're electric, they're, they're water, um, they're forest management, they don't handle things properly, that's why they have so many deaths from fires, and because they don't, um, they, they get these um, these climate change type things in their head that they can't cut down things because of the wildlife but then what happens is the wildlife dies from all the fires and so they don't really know how to manage things well but they really don't care to manage them they just want the power so that they can keep the money and so when we pray in here and we, are, we get to this last um, mystery of today the fifth mystery, the coronation, um, the spiritual fruit is grace of final perseverance. That it, we have to persevere in our faith. And and um, and people like Amy Coney Barrett give me so much um, uh, peace in knowing there are amazing people like her. She has unbelievable she's catholic she's um uh she has seven children two were adopted from haiti one from the earthquake time the other from um i'm not sure why she ended up with the first one but i think the second one was an earth was when they had the earthquake they went and adopted one of the children and then they had a down syndrome child of their own a biological and I think a woman like that, seven children, and she is a judge. Now, she has an amazing husband, and they're partners, and, you know, her children or some of their children are, are older, and one I think in college. And I just look at someone like her, and it gives me hope for the future that maybe, you know, things won't fall. If the church would do their job in teaching, if we can overturn Roe versus Wade, because in some of our mysteries, that's what we're um, preying on. And, you know, and they, they questioned her about, do you, are you going to overturn? Because she signed a document 15 years ago before she was a judge, which she had every right to do as a private citizen. But that's one of the reasons why they don't want her to become, um, to become uh, a Supreme Court judge. And then we had questioning by some of the senators that were absolutely ridiculous asking her if she ever sexually um, harassed anyone in her workplace. It was, it was the most silly thing, some of the questions. And one particular one, I couldn't even follow her logic. It's, I just can't believe from Hawaii, I think it's Hawaii, that she actually got in to be a senator because her name is Maisie and it rhymes with... <laughs> um, so I just was like, I cannot believe this woman's a senator. The things, the logic that she was using were just so out, it just was crazy, is all I can say. So I, I just think, you know, God, you know, please just direct with the Holy Spirit, direct this country um, and, and, and overturn Roe versus Wade because... Um, you know, when 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 a party claims to be champion of women, um, but they deny the cover up of Planned Parenthood in selling baby parts, and they go after what was his name, Daniel DeLeon, they went and they went into his home to get the videos of him proving that the the abortionists were saying, "Well, I'm going to go get an, I'm going to go get a Rolls Royce or a Mercedes, whatever it was, the car was, the fancy car." Um, that just, you know, it's, it, it was about selling baby parts, okay? 
and they said, well, we'll get more for a brain, and then if we if we oh crush the skull, and we you know oh. we can't we won't get the brain right. So we glad have I to do a delivery. All this so we have telling me is like yeah, it's all very this very you're telling me I don't I don't even know who this lady is that got appointed judge really because I don't watch the news. Well, hopefully she will get appointed. But I, the point is is that these people that say they are a champion of women are denying that. Planned Parenthood aids child rapists. They don't report to police when a 13-year-old comes in there pregnant by, say, her father, incest, they don't report it to the police, and they're mandatory reporters. So that whole party that says that they are champions of women are allowing children, young females, to be raped, to be impregnated, and to, for, for, to get rid of the evidence, which is the baby. Um, so, you know, it's deception. And so when we pray in here on the last uh, mystery for those who um, are uh, um, fulfilled in, in Christ and for those who are um, praying for all this darkness that's coming on and to, uh, for guidance and protection of guardian angels, for the deliverance of lies from distortions of the truth by Satan. This is what we're talking about. This is not an old religion we no longer need anymore. This is what we need for today. We need all of these things. And people like Amy Comey Barrett, who is not going to, she said, I'm not going to bring my religion. What, what Supreme Court judges do is they interpret the law. The Congress writes the law. They interpret it and apply it. So when, in a, when a disagreement comes from a lower court, they bring it up and they um, take the Constitution, and she's a constitutionalist and an originalist. And so she is what, what the founders meant for this to be. So those are the kind of people that I want in there. Um, even, you know, I don't care if they're Protestant, I don't care if they're Christian, I don't care if they're atheists, if they're going to behave in the appropriate manner and do the job they're expected to do. Do I want Roe versus Wade overturned? Yes. Yeah. And I believe it was on a faulty law that it was passed. And so she said yesterday, and a very important point, that it is not a super precedent, which means a super precedent, she, um, the other, the uh, senator attorney, Klobuchar, she um, said, well, um, do you believe that, because they're trying to trip her up, right? They haven't been as bad of her as they were to Kavanaugh, obviously, thank God. It's a little bit more civil now. Um, but they said to her, are you, um, uh, you know, do you believe in the, you know, all the pro-life and our, you know, about Roe versus Wade, and do you believe it's constitutional? And so what she said was, it's, it, it, it goes on precedent, yes, but it's not a super precedent, and she made the difference. And the attorney, who's the congresswoman questioning her, doesn't know what it is. And so she asks her, and she says, what is it? And he says, and she says, well, some, you know, they try to trip her up with that. And she said, well, some people define it differently. But what it is is that it means that, that no one is complaining about the law that was passed. So a majority of people are not complaining, but they are about Roe versus Wade, obviously. So here we are. Um, uh, it's not a super precedent. So that, to me, gives an opening that Roe versus Wade could be overturned because enough of the country is saying we are pro-life and the little seeds that started to change four years ago. So I am very hopeful that um, that this is, um, as someone said in one of the comments, it's a tiny step toward bringing the country back. We were veering in a very wrong way. And so those, those are the things that came to me today. It was all, you know, it was less about God, but it was, it, the underlying part is about him. Um, insights that I get when I'm doing the rosary, because that's what we do this for. When, for, for me, when we have our discussion, it's about when you do the rosary at home, you may be praying for maybe your child who's going through a difficult time, and if you do your rosary every day, 
sometimes God will reveal things to you during that. So that's why in my mind when I'm doing it, insights come to us, and that's why we started doing these discussions, because they would come to us. And, of course, it's going to go on the, on the subject we're thinking of. And, um, you know, although I did my reading this morning, I did it early in this morning, so I'm already halfway through my day. So oh. I'm in, yeah, and I'm waiting for the, the hearings because I don't want to miss them. Um, but uh, I just, I just have a lot of hope um, in in that. And today is probably going to be a lot about Obamacare, and they're going to use that we're going to throw um, people off of Obamacare. But it was supposed to provide universal coverage for for everyone in the nation, right? How many Americans right now still don't have insurance? Twenty eight million. How many Americans have been forced off of their health care plans because of Obamacare? Like 30 million. Um, 30 million have been dropped, 10 phased out, or forced to purchase different plan because of Obamacare. Um, 30 million lost their coverage. So they say, oh, 20 million got it. Um, the coverage they chose, this was coverage they chose best fit for themselves, and that all changed for them now. The true number who have gained insurance because of Obamacare is 14 million, 6 million less than the liberals claim. Of the 14 million, 11 million have been funneled to Medicaid, okay? They already, a lot of them already could have gotten Medicaid, Medicaid but the, the, these are healthy adults with no disability and no children, which makes it more difficult for disabled Americans children, pregnant women in poverty to get the care they need because those resources are going to people who could be working. So math tells us that 14 million minus 11 million equals 2 million. Uh, you know, I'm not 11.8 million equals 2.2 2. 2 million. So basically it's not 20 million who gained insurance coverage under Obamacare. It's closer to 2 million, and that's even without subtracting 30 million who lost their plan. So when, when we're asking for, um, when we're asking for Satan to take away the lies and distortion, we have to know the facts. And, um, and those are the facts. That's not, you know, emotional, oh, well, you're taking insurance away from poor people. That's not what they're doing. They actually took uh, insurance away <laughs> and made it, I know personally, my, my son has to pay now, he, they only had to pay 200 before all this. Now they have to pay 600 And there's a procedure that my daughter-in-law needs because she has a disease process that has to be um, done every year. It never costs her money. Now it costs her $2,500 and they can't afford it. Yeah. So it's actually, the Obamacare is not an affordable care act. It has not helped people. The poor can get on Medicaid in this country. And now places of these people that are running, that want to run these things for this power and greed in California are now trying to include, into, are trying to include illegals in their health system, and it's going to collapse. And then they want the rest of the country to pay for that now. They, that's why the stimulus package for Americans aren't going through. We would be getting another bit of money from the government for everyone who's been out of work and all the small businesses. But they won't give it because the Democrats want their pork in the bill. And they are saying to the president, no, we want money for now California's mismanagement and all of that. So this is the, this is the icky part of politics and the misguidance. Yeah, the misguidance. But about? you need to be aware. I but, don't know But anything. you need to be aware. But it, it's important. When we're adults, we need to be aware so that we can vote properly and vote right for what's good for the country. Because our children are going to be left with this. Your children, your grandchildren. It's irresponsible to just, you know, not know these things. We need to know these things. This is important. Um, and so those are the facts. And so... All of that came to me today, and I know it's very heavy political stuff because we're in a contentious time, but, you know, this is my country, and people that built this country were hardworking people. 
I worked 35 years and worked my butt off because I was a single mom for most of it. And, and the kind of people that came to this country, that built this country, other people now are coming and want to change it to countries that they lack, socialist countries. They want to come over here and change it. We'll go back to those countries is how I feel. Then give the liberals to California, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's like it's a very emotional thing. And so when when we do the rosary, you know, these these things come come to me, and I think it's very sinful of them. And why don't they want, why do they want to kill babies, you know? And to me, God wants me to do my civic responsibility. And, um, and that's how I feel. So, yeah. But anyway. Well, I'm glad. What did you get? We're, we're so different, you and I. So we, we but get really, we're not. We are, but well, we're not. Yeah. We are we are united in Christ and we're very alike in Christ and you know and, and and Mary and the saints and everything. But like for you to be like waiting on and planning your day around seeing the court proceeding proceedings, I didn't even know there were court proceedings going on. Well, this, that, this is a big thing for our country. I don't, I don't even I don't even know. When I, we pray for babies. Babies are being sliced yes. up. Yes. I will like to look yeah. into who is out there to be voted for. I will yeah. read about what they believe and all that. But that's as far as I will go with it. I will not go into all this other stuff. Just because it's just, it doesn't interest me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's needed. Yeah. People need to know this stuff. It's very important. You have to vote responsibly. Yeah. Yeah, and when and when you're Catholic, but I'm glad you have to vote for life. I am glad. Oh yeah, always. I always make yeah. sure of that. But I am glad that you're different from me in that aspect. Yeah. And and you uh, keep me rooted in Christ. When we do this, you keep us rooted in Christ in your part, and then I do our intentions, the icky part. Yeah. So for us, I do all the dirty heavy work. And you help me, you help me and all of us stay rooted in Christ with our... We all do um, that. We all do that. We all try yeah. to, especially today's reading, um, goes line in line. I love it when it works out this way, that the rose yeah. goes right there with the reading. I love it. Because today's yeah. reading was Galatians 5, 16 through 26. Right. So, what's it about? It's all about the spirit. I'm just going to read a little part of it um, because I don't want to be on here forever because it's a long reading. But it talks about the fruits. Put the fruit of the spirit in your life, which is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. God is asking us to not live in the law, live in the spirit. He is, right. you know, there's so many things that um, are bad out there, and it's everywhere, it's everywhere. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, etc., etc., jealousy, and it goes on and on. The seven oh. sins. <laughs> and we, without realizing it, there's... There's a lot of things around, like let's grab witchcraft. Witchcraft, well, there's a lot of things out there that are happening that are that's that's in that line. Even drug yeah. in those days, drugs and drug addicts yeah. were considered witchcraft in those days. If you look at that, really? yeah, you look at it. There's hmm. so many things that you know. Um, we have in our lives without even realizing it: envy, jealousy. Comparing ourselves with everybody else, you know, mm -hmm. that's the opposite of humility. And that's what we were just talking about. Opposite. Yes. It's yeah. so important that we live in the spirit. And the spirit is not consciousness. Some people think that, you know, well, you know, I have my conscience. My conscience takes care of it. You can be, um, Aniko was saying earlier in my reading, they, he, uh, she was also looking at it, saying that, um, you can 
being conscious. Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't him. It was um, Susan, I think. It was somebody made a comment that you can be um, raised a certain way, and your conscience becomes the way that you're raised. The way that you you can you can change your conscience. You can you can um, put stuff aware. up of it to like like um, put an excuse while you're doing things. You can you can play with your conscience. Your conscience. Well, can, you 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 when you're you, when you do much younger, the unconscious. Yeah. You act out from your unconscious when you're younger, but as you get older, your conscience you become aware. Yes. That's what she's yes. saying. Yes. yes. The Holy Spirit is different. The Holy Spirit is a living person inside of us. The right. Holy Spirit will have compassion of us. The, the right. Holy Spirit will comfort us. The Holy Spirit will, will guide us. Right. So it's so important. Not everybody has the, the Holy Spirit inside of them. For that, you need to believe and have faith and trust in God. You need to be baptized. You need to be born again. You need to accept God in your life to accept that Holy Spirit. When you get baptized, you are born. You are that's considered born again. Yeah. 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 Exactly. We are born. Every Catholic is born again when they get yes. baptized. Yes. Yeah. Um, but you know there are other people that you know, have the Holy Spirit in them, you know, also. Well, you know, um, the reading today on the gospel was, um, uh, they, it was, it was um, Luke uh, 11, 44 through 46. And I really like Catholic Daily um, Reflections today because today they said, um, what's interesting about that reading is, the scholar of the law points out that Jesus is insulting them, and he points it out that as if Jesus were committing a sin and in need of rebuke. So, um, uh, was he? Yes, he probably was. Was the sin on Jesus' part? No, Jesus does not sin. The, the mystery here is we face the truth is insulting. That's what's happening in our politics. They are insulted by the truth. It's insulting to a person's pride. Remember, we started with pride and humility, and the, it, I read an article this morning about pride being the root sin of every other sin. So I was like, wow. So that's interesting that you're saying that because it all falls into line with the gospel, too. And I guess that's how they arrange the reading. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Because we all have evil desires, and we can't ignore them. In order for us to follow the Holy Spirit's guidance, we must deal with them decisively. We must crucify them. These desires include obvious sins such as sexual immorality and witchcraft. They also include less obvious sins such as selfish, ambition, hatred, and jealousy. Those who ignore such sin sins or refuse to deal with them reveal that they have not received the gift of the Spirit that leads and transforms their life. In order to say that you have the Holy Spirit in you, you you, you can't just say it. You've got to live it. You've got to live it. Right. It's all about love. Um, in the in the Word Among Us, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It says it kind of gives the comparison. An orange ripens slowly from flower to bud to mature citrus. It takes time for the water, light, and heat to provide it to its fullest growth. Listen intently. Allow God's word of truth to shine as fully as possible in you. Read a spiritual book occasionally or the writings of holy men and women, their lives, the lives of saints, or reflections by wise authors. Underline or note the things in them that stir your heart. Spend time quietly basking in the light of the words that strike you. And heat. That's the most important thing, the heat. Fruit ripens in heat in your life. That heat might be illness, sorrows, or difficulties of some kind. It might be stress or uncertainty or loneliness. It might be that irritating habit of your spouse or the continual criticism of a co-worker. But you have been watered. You are being watered by God, by the love of God. He will always sustain you through the heat in your life. Though uncomfortable, perhaps even painful, or seemingly unbearable, the heat 
will in time bring forth fruit. Christ is in you. Let him bear fruit in your life. Holy Spirit, thank you for the water, light, and the heat in my life as you cultivate your fruit in me. The heat, I'll never forget that. I love that because the heat, we also need the heat. We can't just have the light and the water. We also need the heat. The heat are our trials we go through. That's right, Mrs. Surefire. The heat is our trials that we go through. So we Mrs. need that. Surefire. <laughs> So, yeah, we need that. So, you know, I wonder sometimes what our fruit is going to look like. I guess we won't know until we go to heaven and yeah. God throws, you know, in front of us our lives. You and have a lot of fruit going. You I are know. you are always, you are a so. busy girl. You are, you have so much fruit. Like, I can't, you have the energy. Like, you know how the president, had, they always say, has so much energy? Like, you have that energy. I'm like, she's doing this and she's doing that. No, no, you have a lot of energy. We need to be bold in our, we need to be bold in our faith. We this need to your fire. It's funny, guys. Okay. Right? And... Now, you don't like that name, but it's all about heat. But that's what I got out of the rosary today because the Holy Spirit needs to overcome and wrap, wrap his beautiful wings around this whole world we're living in right now. We need the Holy Spirit, just like it says here in the third glorious mystery. It says, a sound comes from heaven like a rush of a mighty wind, and it fills the whole house. I want it to fill the whole world, right? Let the Holy Especially Spirit that courtroom today. Home. Especially that courtroom today. I've been sending it there. <laughs> amen, amen. But let me just tell you something. Um, I'm still, I'm working on this. I have the clay. I've been working on this block of clay for a week now. Um, oh. and then I'm going to, I have to go, I have to go today and get the, um, the tools because I'm going to do that lamp thing. And then, you know, the, they found the oldest, uh, thing that held the lamp. And so that's what I'm making this. And then I'm going to do a mold. Yeah. I'm not as, I, I'm, I'm afraid. I hope I do it right. Yeah. But let me, I just wanted to read, I just wanted to do this one uh, prayer real quick because I need it. Um, and it's on, it's on my wall. Lord, please give me true humility. Help me to never be offended when corrected by others. May I receive others' correction as graces to help me on my way to holiness. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Amen. That was that was on um, CatholicDailyReflections.com. Yeah. And amen. amen. So may the Lord bless you all and keep you. May the Lord let His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you all kindly and give you peace and love and endurance and perseverance to to be Christ out there to others and you know to share the Holy Spirit that's in you is ready to embrace anybody out there. We need to find them and, and share, share the spirit with them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And protection. Amen. That protection. By the way, that's what I was hearing about this morning um, because they went for some um, instruction and it was all about that this person brought to the other person Christ in a, in a deep way. So... That's, that's, so, what, sorry, that's what made me late this morning, but I was so happy because uh, that's what I prayed for, and that was the answer to my prayer. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah.